I recently switched from a dual screen monitor setup to a non-curved ultra-wide setup for my workspace because the internet told me to do so. I am still somewhat getting used to the setup, and although there are definitely some pros to my new ultra-wide setup, here are my initial gripes for using the ultra-wide for 30 days. First off, I need to give you some context of what I use my workstation for. So I work fully remote as a software engineer, and I need my monitor to do two basic things. Number one, help me push out code for my software engineering job. And number two, help me edit these YouTube videos as my goal in 2025 is to upload a video every single week. The ultra wide definitely helps me in some aspects for some of these, but definitely fails in others. So let's get into that. The biggest pain on having a single screen is the fact that I have to deal with window management. And don't worry, yes, I've already installed a Windows manager. And honestly, it still sucks in my opinion. Since I'm a dedicated Mac user, I use this program called Rectangle. It's open source. It has a lot of hotkeys that allow allows me to configure my windows wherever I want it on the screen with a few clicks of some keys. I pretty much solely use three different types of these hotkeys. First, moving the windows to the center left of the screen. The second, moving the window center right of the screen. And third, bringing the window to the center half of the screen. Although this saves me precious seconds of time to use these keyboard keys instead of clicking and dragging, it's still not perfect. For example, when I'm working as a software engineer, I pretty much have three, if not four, mandatory windows open at all times. The first is to code with my IDE of choice, which is Visual Studio Code. The second is to reference or research things in the browser that helps me dictate what code I'm actually gonna write. The third is a brain dump doc that I use that helps me get things in my brain onto a piece of paper and helps me think more rationally about the problem I'm trying to solve. It's also a good reference doc for some engineers that are curious why I made one decision over another. And the one thing about the software engineering workspace that is interesting is that I can't alt tab in between that reference window and the second window, the Google brain dump window because they are using the same program. And lastly, I have Slack running in the background. I don't check it often. I only check if somebody pings me or if there's an alert that fired, but obviously I need to keep it open in order to get those alerts promptly. The second reason why I don't like my ultra wide is either because I'm either tilting my head to look at the edge of the screen or even physically taking a few steps if I'm in standing desk mode. I think because I bought a non-curved ultra wide, I'm mostly at fault for this. I I think if I had bought a curved ultra wide, this problem would more or less not exist. But it's really annoying when I have to physically tilt my head to look at a certain part of the screen. And honestly, those parts of the screen are essentially rendered useless because I can't read at such a curved angle. For example, let's say I take my notes window here. If I move my window to the half right of the screen, I have to not only move my neck, but the text gets distorted as I'm looking at an angle and the words get smaller the further away they are from the center of the screen. I found that one somewhat temporary solution is to push my screen back as far as possible so my field of view becomes a lot smaller. But then when I do this, another problem arises where sometimes the text becomes a little bit small for me. Again. This one is probably my fault. I didn't realize that a non-curved ultrawide would be that much of a pain to tilt my neck towards. The thing is, I've had a curved ultrawide before and it was fine. I just didn't realize that a non-curved ultrawide would be that much dramatic in terms of your field of view than a non-curved. Third reason why I don't like my ultrawide is because I think my resolution is actually too big. I think, not entirely sure. I've been noticing recently that my screen recordings have been looking really blurry in my YouTube videos. Usually when I want to screen record something for my YouTube videos, I'll pull up the Quick Player screen recorder and have it record my entire screen. When I import it into CapCut, the footage becomes very, very blurry, as you can see here. And so to circumvent this blurriness, I'll usually have to zoom in tremendously on my browser, then screen record, and then import it into CapCut so that the words on the screen are actually legible in the YouTube video. Once again, this is probably a very petty con of having an ultra wide, but I didn't have any of these problems with my dual monitor setup, both being the resolution of 1920 by 1080. I do lose precious five, 10 seconds of having to zoom into a browser, then resetting it back to what I usually like it at, which is 90% zoom. So not the end of the world, but 
it does get on my nerves. Lastly, another gripe I have is that watching YouTube videos suck on ultra wide. For me, I love watching YouTube videos full screen no matter what. And so when I watch YouTube videos full screen now, they aren't as satisfying as they used to be. There's always these black bars on the side. And again, it's not the end of the world. But for me, if I were to watch a 1080p video on full screen or almost unwatchable, just too blurry. So every time I do watch a video full screen in YouTube, I have to make it either 2K resolution or 4K resolution. One solution that I found is that I like to watch my videos now in theater mode and instead of watching the YouTube video full screen, I will adjust my window so it takes a good majority chunk of the screen, but it's not so big that it has those black vertical bars. So those are the first initial gripes that I found using this ultra wide for the last 30 days. I will still continue to use this because there are some redeeming qualities. So let's get into those quickly because if you are determining whether you want to buy an ultra wide or not, you'll need to outweigh the pros and cons for yourself. So the first thing that I like in my ultra wide is the aesthetics of my desk. It makes your desk a lot cleaner, simpler, only you have to look at at one simple screen and the desk becomes a lot more spacious, especially with the mount setup that I have. You can push the monitor all the way back and essentially your whole desk is unused space. I'm a firm believer in having a clean space and that a clean space equals an uncluttered mind. So I will say that my space adds a little bit more serenity into my life and this space where I spend at least eight plus hours every single day in is a little bit more peaceful. Another thing that I like for my ultra wide is the pixel clarity of the screen. Before I was using really cheap dual monitors that were normal HD, meaning that the resolution was 1920 by 1080. The resolution of this ultra wide is 3440 by 1440. And the pixels are definitely a lot more clearer. Text is a lot easier to read. Some pictures are crisper. And so it becomes a little bit more enjoyable to look at my screen all day long. The refresh rate is also better than my setup before, where before my monitors were both 60 hertz. And although this monitor is not that much better, where it's 100 hertz instead of gaming refresh quality at like 120 hertz to 144 hertz, 100 hertz is definitely much better than before. And again, it just makes things a little bit better to look at. I also don't game as much as I used to. Now I'll play maybe TFT at most. So it doesn't really need a fast refresh rate anyways. So this monitor is definitely an upgrade than before. Lastly, if you're looking for a monitor to edit YouTube videos, the editing on an ultra wide becomes so much easier than having dual monitors. The video track is crazy long, so I can have reference to multiple clips at once. I also set up my video editor where I just have the video editor stand alone in the desktop space and I'll not full screen the windows so I can just drag and drop screen recordings onto the video track directly. And that has saved me so much time of just dragging and dropping these clips instead of importing them manually from a folder or the desktop directly. And so if you're a fellow creative and are also editing YouTube videos, I would heavily lean toward an ultra wide versus a dual monitor setup. So those are my pros and cons of using an ultra wide. Overall, I'm still not fully convinced of the ultra wide, but I wanna use it longer to get a definite answer for myself. If anything, I can return this monitor to get a curved monitor so I don't have to tilt my head as much. But let me know what you think on how I can improve my setup. Should I go back to dual monitors or maybe just upgrade for a curved monitor? I would love to know what some of your setups are like and which you prefer. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.